Apollos of any type can be combined to create expanded systems over Thunderbolt, so you can add I.O. and DSP as your studio's needs grow. Audio, DSP code, and clock are distributed over Thunderbolt, which enables up to four Apollos to be used together with just one cable per unit. Console automatically recognizes new units as they're added. The appropriate channels are created for each input and units are color-coded in the meter bridge for easy identification. You can use the meter bridge to scroll across channels or jump to a specific channel with one click. You can rearrange the order of units in the hardware settings panel by clicking and dragging them. The topmost unit shown with the speaker icon is the monitor unit and is used for main outputs, alt monitors, and queue outputs. The hardware settings panel is also where you access alt speaker count, queue bus count, and other global settings. You'll notice the sends and alt speakers are dynamically updated in the main window as you add or remove queues and alt monitors. As your console grows, you may want to hide unused channel strips. This is easy to do by clicking on Show Hide Inputs from the View menu or typing Command plus I. Each channel strip can be shown or hidden by clicking on the green power button and you can swipe across multiple tracks. Click Done to commit the changes. You may also want to hide plugins you're not using or whose demos have expired. Just go to the Plugins tab in the Settings window and click the Hide buttons on the one you want to remove from the assignment list. You can always bring them back later. Console lets you customize the audio streams your Apollo system sends to Core Audio. You can choose the quantity, order, and name of the streams that appear in your DAW, which is critical for managing large numbers of I.O. Open the Core Audio Settings panel to view the I.O. lists, and click Default to show all of the inputs and outputs in your system. You'll notice that the units use the same color coding as the devices in the meter bridge. Next, choose the quantity of streams you want to send to Core Audio. For example, you might want to send 32 ins and outs for compatibility with Pro Tools. You can then select the inputs and outputs to create your custom configuration. Click the channel number you want to change to open the assignment panel, and then select the device, type, and input or output you want. The cascade function lets you click and drag down the channel list to automatically select the next input or output on your Apollo. If you make a mistake, just hit undo. You can rename the inputs and outputs so they appear in Core Audio and your DAW exactly the way you want, and when you're done, save the settings as an I.O. preset. I.O. presets can be shared between systems and recalled at any time. They instantly update Core Audio, but be sure to quit and restart your DAW before making any changes. If you're working with Pro Tools, go to I.O. Setup and delete the existing inputs and outputs, and then click Default to update the list and see the customizations you've made. For more detailed information, be sure to read the user guide installed with your system.